What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest AEX or AOSP extended ROM on this device. So let me first jump into the settings and about section and show you guys the Android version and here Android 10 of course. On top we have the AEX logo, here we have the extended version as AOSP extended version 7 official build this one is and the security patch is latest February 5th 2020 and the build number from here you can see and the build date is like 8th february 2020 and the android version is of course 10 again so i have flashed this from this is the gapps included version you can also use the like without gapps version but i will definitely recommend you guys flashing the gapps included version there are two versions of this rom and i've flashed it with the like orange fox recovery the stable one and i have wiped cache dalvik system data then i flashed the rom file with the fcrypt disabler because i am decrypted i have been using this rom well for almost two to three days now and here are my impressions the stock camera over here isn't that great this is the old kind of google camera pretty simplistic but the video and stuff works fine over here if you want anx camera you can install that but like the stock camera is not that great i have also installed the gcam 7 and this one works fine too as you can see everything seems to work fine here even the night sight and stuff is there so you don't need to worry about the gcam but yeah you do not get the miui camera by default here let me go back well this rom is not perfect but there are some pretty cool features which i have been finding over here so first let me talk about the launcher let me show you the settings as you can see this is how the launcher settings looks like the stock launcher is a aosp launcher as you can see and here in the settings you won't find the double tap to sleep mentioned over here but if you double tap anywhere on the home screen the phone will just go to sleep this is a pretty like nice feature i would say in my opinion as you can see let me do it again does go to the sleep whenever you double tap anywhere on the home screen so that is a really nice feature you can swipe down on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel you can swipe up to get the app drawer and stuff to the left we have the google now cards and the widgets and stuff are working fine here not a problem let's jump into the settings well the customizations are present inside this extension but the customizations are limited so let me show you one by one inside extensions we have the status bar items here we have the headset bluetooth etc icons let me go back to the clock settings here we have am pm style and stuff then the date then date style date format date position etc and inside traffic indicators you can enable the network traffic monitor if you need and in the misc settings we have the aex logo 4g icon and the volte logo and the volte calling and stuff is working fine with wi-fi calling so that's not a problem and status bar double tap to sleep is there too so that's great and inside QS panel or the quick settings panel we have the quick setting toggle customizations as you can see we have the toggle animation and stuff if you need those inside notification you can disable heads up if you would like let me go back to the navigation and here it shows empty as of right now because i'm not using the two or three button navigation i'm using the android 10's navigation and here inside extensions again in the lock screen we have the lock screen ui there is a double tap to sleep on the lock screen lock screen charging info is there alba mart is there but there is no always unlock with fingerprint scanner so that you have to keep in mind and talking about the lock screen here is the like unlocking speed i would say it's not bad at all it unlocks quite fast not a problem here with the fingerprint scanner at all the fingerprint scanner is really fast no problems in the system we have the general tweaks option and here we have the toast app icon then the three finger screenshot gesture works fine here let me go back to the buttons and here we have the power menu advanced reboot option is there so you don't need to worry about that the toggle torch option the long press for toggle torch is working fine from the lock screen so that's great but there is like some features which are missing is that like brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar those kind of things are simply missing over here in the battery settings and talking about the battery life i would say the battery life is decent i have been getting six plus hours of screen on time easily and 
the fast charging and stuff is working fine here not a problem here you can see the screenshots the battery life is good enough and you can enable the battery percentage from here let me go back to the display settings and here we have the night light wallpaper dark theme and stuff and here we have the lock screen display and here you get the always on display too but i don't know why you would use that on an ips display and double tap to wake is there wake up on plug is there you can disable it if you would like display cutout option is there then there is font size display size etc and the accent colors option are like there are plethora of options for the accent colors as you can see there are multiple options i have been using this purple i like this one but yeah there are plenty of options you don't need to worry about the accent color customizations and here we have the body fonts plethora of body fonts too you don't need to worry about these now let me talk about some more things inside sound we do not have the me audio direct simply and talking about not having things let me talk about the bugs present in this rom well that reminds me of the bluetooth audio bug well i have tried this headphone and that simply is not working with bluetooth so we have bluetooth audio and stuff like the bluetooth audio devices like bluetooth speakers or headphones may not work on this device or at least on this build so yeah that's kind of a bummer and the wallpaper as you are seeing over here is from this aex papers app which is like default wallpaper app present on this rom and there are like plenty of good wallpapers you can choose from so yeah pretty cool stock wallpaper app present over here and works great but google pay and stuff is not simply working out of the box so that is a problem here widevine l1 support is there and with this led rgb remote app i have tested the ir bluster present on this device and that is working fine you don't need to worry about the ir bluster present on this device it works and over here the like sound output via the headphone jack is good enough but again there is no me audio direct now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management here let's open facebook twitter play store youtube instagram now let's open all the apps from memory again and as you can see even though this is a 4GB RAM variant it is working fine like all the apps do stay in memory and the app opening up speeds i would say is pretty fine and the animations and stuff are pretty great too not a problem here with the app opening up from memory and stuff and app switching is pretty cool over here with the android 10 gestures and that works fine no issues and from styles and wallpapers you can change the grid and stuff if you would like and there is the style well there was the four stop kind of notification and here we can set the custom themes if you would like to again as you can see it just four stopping i don't know why it wasn't happening earlier and this is how the stock in call ui looks like pretty much pixel dialer and here as you can see wifi calling is working fine but there is no call recording option on the default dialer and these are the options you get on the quick toggle panel and here you can swipe for more toggles and you can add bunch of toggles as you can see from here so you can add whatever you like i have added the heads up and screenshot toggle over here and those works fine here and talking about pubg you get smooth and ultra then balanced and ultra and you get hd and high so you can definitely play on balanced and ultra and the gaming performance should be pretty fine here not a problem with playing pubg and stuff so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video of the aex rom latest build on the redmi note 7 pro give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from carry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now